In a space of 500 square feet, we're easily able to set up about a half a dozen of these machines and the plastic processing equipment. And you're going to say to me, but Wayne, that's not possible. You can't possibly wash the plastic, clean it, remove all of the debris, separate it, grind it up, and then use it. And I say, you're right, but I'm not going to need to. What we've been able to do is develop a process that lets us take contaminated mixed waste plastics. We're able to take a range of plastics, one through seven, including the paper labels and the different mixes and bottles with different types of plastic in the cap or in a ring, grind it up and mold it into a finished product. Come on, let's go take a look. One of the questions that I'm often asked is said, well, Wayne, you've built some relatively small machines. You've got 40 pounds an hour. You've got another one that does 60 to 70. You've got another one that does about 200 pounds an hour. How is that really going to matter? It doesn't seem like it's a lot. So let's just talk about the machine that does 60 to 70 pounds an hour. That machine, for instance, when you run it for a single shift, five days a week, is doing about 120,000 pounds a year. It's taking about 60 tons of garbage and converting it into finished goods. But what's very important about it is that it can often be ganged into small groups. And the power of small and the power of many can make a big difference. Just six of those little machines, which are not very expensive and are very easy to maintain, could operate easily in the space of a two-car garage, including the molds, the equipment, the support equipment, everything you'd need. Six of these in just two shifts, Monday to Friday, 1.4 million pounds of plastic. Convert that into 1.4 million pounds of useful goods. All we do is we grind it up. We convert it into these flakes. Normally, an automatic conveying system will put this plastic into extruder. Now, I've slowed this one down so that you can see the process. Otherwise, I'd be emptying this so quickly that I couldn't keep really up. Good. So that's actually all post-consumer waste being turned into the finished parts. It's really, really good. This machine, which uses about half the power of a household dryer, will convert 100,000 pounds of waste plastic flakes into finished products. I've removed the dye here because otherwise there's no magic to see. All you kind of see is product spitting out the other end. Here you can see we're taking the plastic, making it into a molten plastic with very little energy, and from that we can make interlocking blocks, plastic wood, chairs, tables, you name it, we can mold it. See, they really are durable. Try it.